This time we'll be going back to Minnesota, Harmar Mall. Harmar Mall is an enclosed shopping mall in Roseville, United States, a suburban of the in the Twin Cities. Um, um, compri Harmar Mall comprised 330,000 square feet. Retail space and mall anchors are famous footwear, Michaels, Home Goods, Barnes & Noble, Staples, KG Fashion Store, Burlington, Cub, H&R, Tuesday Morning, Marshalls, David's Bridal, Painting with a Twist, Fresh Clips, Western the City, Elements Massage, The Best Buy, Mobile, which is now not there anymore. The mall contains 35 tenants. So you know where that where this is. Um, was opening on August 1963. It's on 21100 Snelling Avenue. This. Yeah, I did a video on this a couple times. Going in 1963, expanded several times since. So one of the two enclosed malls in Roseville. The other one is Ro Rosedale Center, which I already did. Despite being a relatively small shopping center, the mall remains open. Constructed by Robert W. Federal, as a federal Patterson, which is owned by Badminton Group, competitively. Question for the Harmar began in 1961 when Harold envisioned to build a super mall similar to shopping center. Singh, while traveling in Florida, signed his name from the owner, Harold Slawick, his wife, Mary. Harmar's combination of the two names. It was built by on 50 acres of land intersected by um, 36 and halfway 51. Who, um, William Thorne, who uh, designed the Patriot Theater, a Patriot Plaza, which is not there anymore, in, in nearby St. Anthony, beside the mall. While Wedler served as the mall's architect. According to Stern, the mall was considered a long corridor with zigzags and series of angles that makes Hamar truly unique. It features several wide hallways, arched ceilings, and large windows to allow sunlight to enter corridors. The mall nearly causes $6 million to construct in the span of two years. This summer, in 1962, Slavik died, leaving his wife in charge of the mall's construction. Mrs. Slavik <laughs> reportedly worked 80 hours a week to order to keep with the mall. May of the same year, Target constructed their first year in the parking lot in the north of Harmar. While nearby Rosa Center is constructed in 1969, Harmar went through a significant expansion in the early 70s. 1970, construction of Twin Theaters, Hamar 1 and 2 was completed and became the Twin Cities' second screen cinema. His luxurious design included spacious lobbies with reservation glass chandelier and bubble fountain. It was constructed by architect Benjamin J. Gold Jr. Um, so, I bet um, all you like um, like old people who went to the Harmar in Roseville knows about that place. On 1981, Harmar was damaged by a huge tornado during the afternoon hours. All the mall was heavily damaged, only affected the mall's cosmetic appearance. Several nearby local businesses and residents were left in ruins following the fact. Shortly after the tornado, a large renovation occurred to update the mall's appearance and fix any damage that to it. 1988, another expansion took place, allowing Harmar to acquire several largest retailers. Retailers. Um, Helen Superstore and TJ Maxx appeared uh, later that year. Um, with the addition of the new food court, seeing over 100 people. Two years later, Highland Superstore was converted to Bismarck. Bismarck was later acquired by F Fox Office Max, 1992, before a closing in 1955. Home Place opened in space of vacant 
um, office methods come currently um, least of home goods, successor of home place. In the 2000, Hammer underwent a cosmetic makeover and cost previous M's reality near 12 million. M sparked interest in the Van Moore at the site, but was probably was hardly dissolved. Um, in 2014, Burlington Discount Apparel announced that they had planned to 2,500 square foot space that previously open occupied Midwestern Books. Opening of the location of the Harmar anchor tenant will be completely leased. Completely, the mall still prospers mixed large special interest stores as well as a similar unique stores under one roof. Several new tenants business places such as Sable Zinc, the Miko and Center, plus other fine dining. Hammer Superstar, an indie rock musician, leader of the group Shana Na, took its stage name from Harmar Ma. Man, that's so cool. According to Sean, Superstar's legal name he acquired from the name of the youth watching movies and writing songs passed by in the food court. He visited the shopping mall frequently as it was across the street where he worked as an office job. Near his entrance into the music, he gained in attention of writing a song for Britney Spears called Tallboy, which um, ultimately rejected by Spears' management team. So, oh man, that's so cool. A person named after a mall. So, and also a bad thing has happened. So there was a robbery. It, it doesn't say on here, I don't know why, but there was a robbery at uh, Cup Foods um, in 2005, and the robbery person held a gun. And, and said, I want to rob all these stuff. And they got robbed. So, yeah, that was the only bad thing that happened at the mall. Well, peace. Give it a like, subscribe, and rock on.